Welcome P2. Today we're looking at areas between curves and lines. Unit 8.4. So this unit and the next one, which is between two curves, you can kind of do them, well certainly the next method you can apply to this one as well. Okay, so this one in general, it's easier to do the integration and look for the area of a common shape like a triangle, a rectangle or trapezium. And then in the next one, it's about looking at the two curves. But the method in the second video, 8.5, you can apply to this one as well. Okay, and I'll show you some of that when I do the next video. Anyway, let's get started into this one. So we all know how to find the area under a curve between two points. So say I had two points on this curve. I could quite easily find the area underneath this curve just by integrating it. Okay, now what we're going to look at is adding in an additional line. So it's going to be looking at adding in a straight line. So if I take a line, a y equals you know, mx plus c, and add that in. And now I look at finding, say, the area between that line and my curve. Okay, so now we've got an additional problem. And this problem can be solved quite easily. Okay, first I need to know these two points here. Let's call them A and B. These would be the points of intersection. And if I think about making vertical line straight down to my x-axis just extend that one there then this black shape here is going to be a trapezium yeah and to find the area of a trapezium is a plus b over 2 multiplied by h where this would be little a little b and this distance between them would be my h now the area of the shaded part is going to be the area of the trapezium minus the area under my curve. So if you think about this, we've got the area of that black shape there, the trapezium, and then minus the area that is under this curve, which I'm drawing in the red line now, between the two points A and B. So we'd have the area of the trapezium take away this red area and that will leave me that blue area which is the one that I'm trying to find. Does that make sense guys? So what you're doing is you're taking what you already know about uh, curves and how to find the area under them and then you're looking for other shapes that you know to find the area of those and essentially the difference in this case, the difference in the two areas will give me this shaded area here this blue shaded area sometimes i might need to add areas together it's just looking for those additional shapes so here's an example where we want to find this shaded region r now first step is to find the two points of intersection now i'm pretty sure that this b does hit the x-axis at four Okay, at least it looks that way, but you should always make sure, and we need to find A anyway. So what I need to do is equate these two lines. So 4 minus x equals 8 plus 2x minus x squared. So that's going to give me, I'm going to take everything to the left, x squared minus 3x minus 4 equals 0. Now, first step is to see if I can factorise it. So we've got x minus 4 and then x plus 1. Quick check, x squared, 1x take away 4x is that negative 3x, and minus 4 times 1 is minus 4. So we're good. So we've got x equals 4, x equals negative 1. Now, you might be tempted to find the y values here, but we don't need them. When we're integrating, we're needing the x values. So let's stick with those. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to try and find this area 
which I'm going to shade in black here, of this triangle. Oh, so actually, I'm going to need the height of A. So I'm going to need the Y value for A. I won't need it for B, for obvious reasons. But yeah, I'm going to need that height. And I'm going to need the base, which will be the difference between the two X values. So all I need to do is substitute my X equals minus 1 into either equation, but obviously this one's the easiest one. 4 minus minus 1 is going to give me 5. So this is going to be a height of 5. Okay, so this coordinate is minus 1, 5 there for A. We know it's the distance of 5 along the horizontal as well because we're going from minus 1 to 4. So nice and easy, we've got an area here then of 25 over 2. Base times height divided by 2. Next, I need to find the area under the curve between A and B. So the area under the curve between A and B is going to be between 4 and negative 1. And that's of 8 plus 2x minus x squared. So it's very straightforward. Just integrate and then substitute in. Now we have the area under the curve as well. My shaded area is going to be the difference between the two. So shaded area is going to be the area under the curve minus the area of the triangle. Okay, because the curve area is clearly this bigger one. So the area under the curve minus the area of the triangle. And that will give me 125 over 6 or 20.83 to two decimal places. Hopefully that made sense. And, you know, there's nothing much to these. You're just looking for the basic shapes, triangles, rectangles, trapeziums. Trapezium and triangle are probably the most common, certainly the trapezium. So you just need to keep an eye out for those. I'll uh, pop a couple of questions up for you to have a go. Okay, but I'll save a few back for the next video. And as always, I'll pop the answers at the end. For this one, what I need to do is break it up into this triangle, this side on the right, and then the area under the curve here. So area under the curve between A and B, and then the triangle, which will go from B as far as C. 